<laughs> week number four for Jane T. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our six week course where we're helping our slimmers lose a stone in six weeks. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jodie. What is the update from the scales this week? I'm afraid it's only one. Um, I had a bit of a tough week this week. It was a bit, um, I don't know, I thought it's been the hardest week. The good news is um, you've got your half stone certificate. Oh, yeah. Because we're at seven pounds now, so I'm more well, than happy with one pound. Yeah, well, yes, it's just been... Um, I don't know. I, I, I suppose probably you have weeks that seem harder than others, but uh, yeah, this this week seemed. And I've got a couple of things to go to. One was an afternoon tea, and uh, so I think it just made it a bit more difficult. And I was very hungry this week for some reason. <laughs> right. So let's have a little look through your food diary. Um, and what do you think? Anything that's happening that's made you feel more hungry? Well, I was trying to cut out the wheat, so just have wheat bix for breakfast. I do like wheat bix. Um, yeah. So it's been more prepared for lunches because normally my go-to would be marmalade sandwiches. I could eat them every day. <laughs> week. Um, Isn't that what so Paddington Bear eats? Yeah. <laughs> And Paddington Bear, you don't want to look like Paddington Bear, do you, Jane? Yeah, not because <laughs> it's not a good role model for food. No. <laughs> um, so I've had to sort of think more and prepare more at lunchtime, whereas I normally eat just two slices of bread, marmalade, slap yeah. it together, done. You know, whereas you've got to more think of things. So um, I think I found that a bit difficult. And I've probably missed having it, to be honest. Um, yeah. But I've been and done a big shop and um, I've got more stuff in that I, you know, prawns and I'm trying to do like salsas and, because you said bulgur wheat was okay, didn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, you, you could do double and keep some in the fridge for the next day so that you just stick tuna with it and prawns, anything really, or just like a big salsa, you know, chop up, um, I chop up spring onions, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, celery, and just mix it with it. And I, I with a little bit of balsamic, I love that, I could eat that as well. Yeah, so. that's perfect. Yeah. So. Right, so let's have a little look through your food diary. So today we've had Weetabix for breakfast. Yeah, oh, I've not filled in the rest of today. It's okay, you've got your lunch in there, which was yeah. a poached egg on toast and you've had an apple as well and a pear. Yeah. Uh, yesterday was a Weetabix for breakfast, yogurt for lunch, and then a homemade chicken korma yesterday with some rice. Yeah. And a little bit of chocolate, 70% yesterday. Do you buy those little Ooh. bars that you can get? We buy the ones from Aldi. I like those because they've got like five little bars in, haven't they? So yeah, that's it. Perfect. One of the little bars. It, it just does me because I, I do like chocolate. So yeah. I feel... It's good portion that, control. Yeah, it, it, it's with it being sort of a, a little bit more bitter than Cadbury's. I mean, you could eat, well, personally speaking, I could eat the whole bar and not realise. Whereas. Yeah. But this just, just gives you the kick of chocolate, so... And it's yeah. enough, isn't it? You don't want any more by the time you finish one of those. No. <laughs> right. Saturday was Weetabix for breakfast, a scone for lunch, and then in the evening it was chilli beef uh, with rice. Yeah. And in the snacks, a cheese scone as well. I've made scones for the... Um, afternoon tea I, I was taking them so uh, I had to try <laughs> I'd made plain and cheese you see so <laughs> right Friday Weetabix for breakfast uh for lunch was a prawn cocktail salad which looks nice and then in the evening it was a fish dinner was this at home with pesto 
Yes, I made that. Yes. It's Great, that it's sounds fish. nice. Um, a cod loin, and I'll put some pesto on the top and do it in the oven. Um, and then some ice cream as a dessert. On Thursday, Weetabix again, this time with an apple and a pear, which is great. Uh, salad for lunch. And then in the evening, it was, oh, you've made your bulgur wheat here with sweet potato yeah. wedges. Yeah. And a, what did you do with the mints? Um, I think if it's if I remember rightly, I do it with like tinned tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, and um, mushrooms and peppers. So you had that after like you got in from Dance Fit, did you? I've made it before. Yes, that's Great. right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wednesday was Weetabix for breakfast, uh, ham and eggs for lunch with some mushrooms. And so again, that was a great choice for lunch. Yeah. Obviously, you have to just get out of your head the ham, egg, and chips uh, combination. <laughs> but you've had it, <laughs> ham, egg, and mushrooms. Great. Um, yeah, I mean, I did, uh, yeah, just a few mushrooms, just to make it yeah. a bit. I did poached egg. And then for dinner was chicken with salad and an apple, which is great. So fantastic week. I'm really happy with that. I'm surprised actually you didn't lose more. Don't you think? Well, I was actually. I was a little bit disappointed, but I don't know. Is it my age? Is it might it come off next week? Or I mean, I'd only had the bad Sunday, I think it was, when I went to the afternoon tea. So I wasn't yeah. surprised really. But um well, keep on going this week with just trying to have just, you know, your grains, stroke bread just once a day, Weetabix. Um, and if you do, you know, if you really do fancy a sandwich, maybe just try and sweet, switch your breakfast that day and try and have porridge or yogurt and fruit, something like that instead. So porridge would be OK? Yes, because it hasn't got any gluten in, therefore it's easier for your body to digest. Right. And what about jacket potatoes? Yeah, completely fine. Fine. Okay. Again, the good thing about those is you can put them in early and then they'll be all ready for lunchtime then, so you don't need to yes. do much, too much yeah. preparation. I mean, I could eat that with a tin of tuna quite happily, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And we're trying Fab. to eat more fish. We're not, we don't particularly like fish. So, but we're trying to eat more. And uh, I mean, I like prawns, but John doesn't like prawns. So we're just at cod, cod and prawns and tuna for me so at the moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Right. Anything else that you would like to try and achieve this week? Uh, well, just keep on. I think I just. It was just a bit of a dip last week, but it wasn't desperate. It was just, I just found it harder. So, um, yeah. But when the weather's warmer, I'm, I find things easier. When I'm cold, I tend to want to eat some things. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just, just keep going on. I mean, I'd like to lose at least two next week. So, um, and getting my steps up again. I've gotten to wear my Fitbit the last couple of days. So, uh, I must remember to put that on as well. So, yes, it, I, I find it very difficult to walk anywhere without my Fitbit because you feel like you're wasting your time or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got, I've got like, I don't know, very nearly the 10,000 one night. So I had to spend, I think John wondered what I was doing, but I was walking up and down our bedroom because I just wanted to hit the 10,000. So, yeah. you know, when you're really close, you know. <laughs> oh that's good fab right anything uh what's your goal how many pounds would you like to lose for next week at least two at okay. least two fab wonderful so, let's do it yeah and i haven't got any things that i'm going to this this coming seven days so uh hopefully perfect that sounds good to me.
Right. I will see you. Are you coming to Dance Fit Thursday? I shall be there Thursday. Wonderful. Yes. Right. I will see you on Thursday then. All right. Thanks All right. Thank you, Jane. Bye. 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 Bye.